Okay, let's go for number 1450, number of students doing homework at a given time. Given two integer arrays, so we have two arrays that are integers, uh, start time, so this is one, this is two, end time, and given an integer query time, so we're going to give in uh, query time, which is just a number. The i students started doing their homework at the time, start time at index i, and finished at time, end time at index i, okay? So we have two arrays, start, end, and we have query time. Return the number of students doing their homework at time query time. More formally, return the number of students where query time lays, lays in the interval. Okay, interval, start time, and end time, inclusive. So what this saying is, um, we want to find a number, so start, end, and we're given a query time. We want to find the interval which uh, has query time between these two numbers. So, so if you look at uh, number one, we have start is going to be one, two, and three. End is three, two, and seven. And query time is four, right? So when we're doing our first iteration, our number is going to be one and three, right? Because we're over here. And does query time, does four go between one and three? No. So we have two and two. Does it go between um, two and two? Nope. We have three and seven. Does it go between three and seven? Yes, um, it, it goes between, I mean, four is between three and seven, yes. So uh, we increase our output or count by one. And if we check, um, our answer is one over here. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. All right, let's code our solution. So this uh, problem takes three parameters, start time, end time, and query time. Start and end time is an array and query time is just an integer. So I'm just going to make a variable let count is equal to zero and this is going to count um, number of uh, instances where query time is, is between start and end time. And I'm just going to return count. All right. And what we want to do now is we want to loop through our array for the i is equal to zero, i is less than start time dot length increment by one or you can just use in time here it doesn't matter and I'm just gonna make a variable uh, just to uh, make it easier um, so let start is equal to start time at index i and let end is equal to start I mean it should be end and time at index i Okay, so now we want to check if um, query time is between start time and end time. So we're going to need an if statement. If start is less than or equal to query time and um, query time is less than or equal to end. And then if this is true, we want to increase count by one. Okay, so we have one one zero zero five. One one zero zero five. So solution looks good. So just to go over our if statement again, we want to check if query time is in between start and end time, right? And as it's uh, inclusive, the problem says inclusive. So what we did was uh, use less than or equal to. So is start time less than or equal to query time? So that means that start is smaller or equal to query time, right? And is query time smaller than or equal to end? So it, what this is saying is that um, is query time in the interval of start and end? And if this is true, we're going to increase our count by one. And we're going to do that for all the items in the array. And we're going to return our count. OK, let's go for our code. So we declare our function, which takes in um, three parameters. These are arrays, and this is just an int. And what I, what I did was uh, declare the count variable. That's going to count number of um, cases where query time is between start and end time. And we're going to return that later. So I use the for loop to iterate through our array. And start index 0. This, you can change it into end time. It doesn't matter, because uh, they're always going to be the same length. And increase by one. Just made a variable start and end variable that's gonna refer to the number at index i for res for each respective arrays. And I check here uh, using an if statement. 
So we have two statements, right? Is start gonna be less than or equal to query time? And is query time is gonna be less than or equal to end? which means that is between these two numbers and if that's true we're going to uh, increment by one and remember it's inclusive um, if you look at um, example five we have nine eight seven six five four three two one and the second is all tens i'm just going to write ten like that and query time is five so we're going to iterate through each number in our array like this for all of the items. So we have 9 and 10, 8 and 10, 7 and 10, and so on and so forth. And for the first one, we have 9 and 10, right? And is query time between 9 and 10? Nope. So this is not true. 8 and 10? Nope. 7 and 10? Nope. 6 and 10? Nope. 5 and 10? Yes, because uh, it's inclusive. 4 and 10? Yes. 3 and 10? 2, 1? Yes. So we have total of five cases uh, that are true. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna return five. And if we check our answers, our output is five.